Good afternoon everybody. This is Barton Holmes with Yamaha Marine Center. Today we're taking a look at our brand new 2020 Creval 24 Bay. Um, it's the boat we just got in. Do a quick walk around. Uh, this is the bow seating. Uh, all these cushions and backrests pull out, but a great place. The, the Creval is known as a, a crossover hybrid bay boat. Uh, nice high gunnels as you can see there. Nice uh, deep forefoot on the boat with dual running strakes on the bottom of the boat you can see in that picture. Fantastic running boat, legitimate boat that you can take offshore and, and feel safe in in the right conditions. Um, it's got a stainless steel rubber rail on it. We're powered this with the, 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 the Yamaha 250 VMAX SHO engine, standard stainless steel propeller, jack plate is on this boat. Swim ladders in there. This has fresh water. There's a fresh water shower fitting right there. Let's step aboard and take a closer look. Starting at the helm, uh, the 2020 boats have this new windshield. It's a glass, safety glass windshield. It's laminated into place. Uh, this powder coated um, structure here is aluminum with the Argento, what they call Argento, which is a dark gray. Uh, the hull sides are white, as is the bottom. The bottom of the T-top is a light gray, the same color as the helm. The helm face is that same light gray. Um, you can flush mount electronics here in the dash. We'll do that for you. Uh, stereo, it has the Fusion Stereo system. We have the Yamaha command link gauges, which give you digital tack speed, fuel information. Uh, I've got the digital stainless steel switches here. Control for the jack plate. It's hydro power hydraulic steering on the boat. It does have power assist. Uh, and this is a mechanical engine, so it's not fly by wire. Uh, nice dual foot rests down there, and it, we uh, have this really nice um, soft decking material, make it a little bit more comfortable for you while you're running all day. Nice leaning post, fold down bolsters, freshwater sink at the back end. There's some cutting boards that come with the boat that go in this recess. A uh, couple of coolers here, 42 quart igloo coolers. There's one there, and then another one that's underneath this seat. Let me show you how this works. So this aft seat folds up and you have access to that cooler underneath the seat. And there's also, if you pull the cooler out, then there's access to the um, bilge area behind. If you, put the seat if you put the seat back down, or you put the seat back up, then you've got a seat for two people here in the back of the boat. On either side of the seat, you've got these release wells, 28 gallons a piece. Very nicely engineered. And then as we move up to the front of the boat, or toward the front of the boat, um, I want to show you the under gunnel rod storage here. Rod, solders, rod holders in the gunnel, two on each side. Um, we do also have the pop-up cleats with the Creval badge on it. These little lockers here for um, safety gear, uh, first aid kit, things like that. Inside the console, you've got the head uh, set up for dual batteries. Uh, that's the power steering pump you see over there. This boat is set up also with the trolling motor pre-rig package which gives you the battery charger and then the trolling motor, the trolling motor batteries ac actually go up underneath the sole. I'll show you where that is. But you can see how beautifully finished everything is inside the boat. Uh, the forward end of the console, we have another live well, 20 gallons. Of course, this will also double as a cooler. All these live wells are insulated, so they'll keep ice for the day.
and then we've got the uh, storage here in the sole, which has the three batteries or a 36 volt trolling motor setup, um, which the boat does not come with. We'll, we'll install that if you need a trolling motor. And then in the center is a place for a cast pail. And then once again, we have the seating up here in the bow. Um, we can remove the backrests and remove the cushions um, to go out if you want to fish the boat for the day. And once that's done, you see you have a nice fish box here. The other side is another box, but the other side has rod storage in it also. And these are plumbed to go directly overboard. We also have this additional storage box here, which actually goes all the way through, as you can see. And there's a fourth locker, well, technically third locker up here in the bow. Once again, it's all lined. And then we have your anchor locker up here in the bow with two additional rod holders. So we've got a total of, uh, oh gosh, I think we're four rod holders on each side of the boat. So we've got eight rod holders standard in the boat. Uh, then moving to the hard top, plenty of room to mount electronics, uh, whatever flare, uh, flare antenna or radar, VHF antennas, whatever we need to. Uh, this hard top comes with LED lighting, one in the front, two in the stern. This boat also has the misting system. A couple of speakers up top, four speakers down below, rocket launcher across the top here, and a ski tow bar all LED lighting. Beautiful boat, ready to go fishing, cruising on the water. Fun activities. So I appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Yamaha Marine Center. Thank you. Bye.